rainbow crosswalk in Ontario vandalized with Bible verse. A, ra a rainbow crosswalk was recently installed in a crossing in uh, Port Colborne in Ontario, Canada. However, less than a month after the rainbow crosswalk's installation, right-wing fundamentalist Christians were quick to spread their unfounded hate for the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, Genesis 9.13 was scrawled onto the pavement, uh, which is a, a verse from the Old Testament. The verse Genesis 9.13 reads, I have set my rainbows in the clouds and it will be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. AKA uh, God's reminder to himself, his sticky note in the sky, not to commit mass genocide again. <laughs> This verse is famous to anti-LGBTQ Christians who claim that their God has the quote-unquote original ownership of the rainbow, crying foul over the LGBTQ community's use of it. And they usually bring this verse out, such as the case of vandalizing this crosswalk, as a way to pronounce that they are reclaiming the rainbow, taking it back from the LGBT community. Austin Gooder, a member of Niagara's queer community, stated that the vandalism is dismissive of the queer community that has worked hard towards its own liberation and is still working hard to this day. I really, really loved your description of the rainbow in Genesis. <laughs> it just made me imagine God a couple of times wanting to come and commit another genocide. And then seeing the rainbow, like, oh, oh. Damn. I promised, that I promised these <laughs> fools I wouldn't do this again. But they'd like be so gross forget. and dirty, they'd like, be disobeying me. But I made a promise, man. The guy was in the <laughs> boat for nothing. I can't, damn. How many times do you think God almost did another flood and then just saw the rainbow and were like, oh, yeah, that thing? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Because he, he he needs a he needs a reminder. Like he's admitting in Genesis that he needs like, a, like a, anyways. Um, and by the way, it's felt so interesting because Christians think like LGBT have turned the rainbow into something de deprived, like something like disgusting, something gross, right? But the original thing was something beautiful, a promise from God, but like a promise from God not to do genocide because he already did one, did one. Like, it's so amazing that they think that original message of the rainbow was actually something beautiful. It just so, shows you where their priorities are. Like they're like, now it's bad. Before it was about genocide. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like so just, funny though because wiping when you out the entire planet, it's so beautiful. Yeah. It, that, when you grow up in a Christian household, that's not how it's characterized. You're like, every time you look at a rainbow, little Susie, remember God's promised us. He cares about us so much, blah, blah, blah. And then you grow up and you start to look at things critically and you're like, hold up, what? <laughs> <laughs> Just like, God's beautiful promise not to do, not to wipe out the entire planet for a second time. I mean, actually, he's going to so do funny. that again at, at the end, yeah. The book of hey, wait, this is he's the book, breaking this is his the, promise doesn't the book of revelation contradict the genesis because he's i guess he just like he's like i just promised not to do it with a flood i didn't say i'm not going to commit mass genocide you're it's just right. going to be a different <laughs> it's just not going to be not a flood. wrong you're not wrong <laughs> all right oh um, my gosh no but there was someone who was um in the local community who was um, asked to give comment on this. And I thought this was so funny. Um, oh my God, wait, where was it? Basically- wait, I'm um, actually wrong. There, wait. Is, there is flood in Revelations, hold on. Go on. No, but I want to read this real quickly. And there, this is a, a gay person talking and they're like, it's also really dismissive um, of the, wait, of the religious people who identify with the pride flag. And then he continues, if the rainbow is a godly sign, then the people who will vandalize a rainbow crosswalk are vandalizing a sign of God. Sounds like a logical contradiction to me. <laughs> I thought okay, that was funny. I think if I remember my revelations correctly, I think I was wrong. I think there is 
there, there is also flood in book of revelation so god does legit break his promise anyways i'm not sure well we have google let me google this anyways. revelations bible flood um oh wait yeah okay 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 I'm 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 getting something. There is Revelation 12:15 that says, "Then from his mouth the serpent spewed water like a river to overtake the woman and sweep her away with the torrent." Also translated as flood. What does this mean? Um uh often meant to be entirely symbolic. Uh others seem more literal. Um it's not entirely poss impossible that someone might attempt to use flooding as a weapon. It is doubtful, though, that the serpent sent a river of water to sweep away, escaping Jews away in a flood. More likely, the flood represents mm. the invading forces of the king of the north. The king of the north! <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. AJ. Typically AJ identified as Russia. The Russians are coming. That's what Revelation <laughs> said. All right. <laughs> wow. AJ <laughs> is saying Revelation floods, floods are regional not global that's the difference okay so this is getting very like pedantic god said that he's not going to wipe out the planet again with a flood but he is in the book of revelation we realize that he is going to wipe out the planet and it will involve floods but it's not the flood in at its with its entirety like there will be some not flood, with, it, not with be... a capital f not with a capital yes. f. <laughs> so the, the planet will be completely wiped off there will be some regional floods. So technically he's still keeping his promise because the entire wiping out of the planet, it's not all of it is not with a flood. So this is why you have to, this is why Noha had to bring a lawyer to that agreement. <laughs> so for somebody to actually read the fine print before signing that, before like, yeah. So we are need oh, actually, actually, see, this is what Noha's attorney was, drowned that's what happened oh. <laughs> noah's <laughs> attorney was the unicorn <laughs> that we now no longer see. no it's hard to find an attorney to to like redefine prints with that the agreement that you're having with god if everybody is drowned right they should when <laughs> when i was growing up there was a story about because the kids were like why aren't there unicorns blah 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 and there was basically a story that they would tell us about the reason why unicorns don't exist is because there was a unicorn that was like too lackadaisical or like too silly or didn't listen or something. And he didn't make the roll call basically for Noah's Ark. And so they got killed in the flood and that's why we have no unicorns. Oh, here's Wait, where you can pic see a picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is great, by the way. I want them to do this. This is just like such a great opportunity for us to just show what they, these people are about. You know, it's fantastic. I don't. I think they did, didn't anticipate this to get this much attention. So, just keep doing it. Guys. Oh my They're gosh! Like Wait, AGA is saying that's a song by the Irish Rovers. Thank you. I couldn't remember what that was. I gotta go look that up again now. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. The story of the unicorns not existing because of the flood is actually from a song. Wait, really? I thought that was just a meme. Okay. Um, interesting. It's, all right. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.